Yeah, man, y'all know fuck going on, man. It's your boy, Steve Steve, nigga, a.k.a. Stupid Diamonds, Taliban, Mr. Inglewood, Chirac, Mr. Inglewood. Let's just talk to this nigga, L boy. I'm thinking he the founder of Double O Hooligans. You feel me? Now, this goes back to his brother, Khalil Barney, the sent off of Double O Hooligans, right? Remember, I was saying that I was in the backyard with a nigga and he said something about C3. The nigga ran with me and put him in the trunk. That's the nigga that said that shit to me. This nigga, the L boy. You feel me? The nigga is a real life hater, bro. I swear to God, bro. He's scary as hell, bro. He be talking to all this shit about me. Then he did a freestyle on Facebook about that Ronald situation. He's talking about, you ain't living the way the Z is. Yeah, I think that's true, nigga. I seen all that shit. I seen all that shit. And another reason why I ain't fuck with this nigga, because for my reason, we be at his mom's house, you feel me? He tried to test my loyalty, like try to question me, test my loyalty, question my loyalty at the dining room table. That's the same night they was going to kill me because I said, uh, if BB keep playing me, I'm going to play, play cool and go fast and kill her ass. And all of a sudden, they was going to have a cousin come kill me that night. You feel me? Another reason why I ain't fucking with this nigga. And another reason why I ain't fucking with this nigga because the nigga be hating on me and shit. Like, he be doing a little bitch ass shit. Like, he'll try to put his lean on the table just to see I'm gonna drink it. Like, like on some little bitch ass shit he be doing, right? On a little bitch ass shit. Trying to see I'm gonna drink his lean and shit. Like, he setting me up with it. Like, that's it. He gonna drink it. Goofy ass nigga. I've been noticing all that little fuck shit. Every time, even back then when I did that 30 flux with um, Boss Top, that's running around listening to it and shit. He start hating then and shit. Nigga be hating on me and shit. And another reason why I ain't fucking with him, because he used to always tell me, Steve, why you don't rap about homosexual raps? Like, 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 on some real shit, like, actually telling me to do this shit. And I'm laughing, like, bro, listen, nigga, I know you a fucking goofy, bro. And one day, I ain't gonna lie. I'm in a car with a um with this nigga named Lacey. You feel me? Uh he fuck with a mouse in them, right? This nigga gonna say, I'll rack anybody for a ten thousand dollars. Basically he was saying it to like he'll whack me for ten thousand dollars and shit. You feel me? That's another sign I couldn't fuck with him. And then I ain't fucking with this nigga because he think I want his baby mama, or and then he already think I fucked her anyway. So when they stay at their first house, you feel me? And honest, and they know the house I'm talking about. He was act. He told Khalil and shit, put a bug in his brother. It also watch Steve and watch Talet, which is his baby mama and shit. You feel me? So that's why I don't fuck with that nigga on that shit. And another reason why I ain't fucking with this nigga, because this nigga had sex. He was sneaking. I want to know if this is a, it's either a transgender woman. Most likely it was a transgender. Just like my cousin Jermaine, they be fucking transgenders that time and shit. He tried to sneak up, sneak him in the basement of his mama's house. That's when I knew he was a fuckboy. I just didn't say nothing, but I'm laughing like a motherfucker too. Period. And another thing I ain't fucking with this nigga, how I knew he was a fuck boy. He was talking all this shit. Then he he think I dropped a dime at his mama house the whole time though. I'm hurt. I'm I'm hearing somebody else did this shit. And just happened, I came over the same like the day after that. They was feeling some type of way then. And another reason I ain't fucking with them, because one day when shit was getting bad. They was placing weapons all around their house, like golf clubs on their cabinets and shit. And they noticed, I, I, I started noticing shit. You feel me? That's why I ain't fucking with they ass. But he need to stop fucking with um, transgender people. Because his baby mama probably don't even know this shit. Sticking transgender women and shit. You feel me? In this mama basement. He gonna swear them down, I'm lying, nigga. Another reason why I ain't fucking with this nigga. I'll tell you what, one day I'm on, I'm on, I'm on 115th Stewart, the Ville, right? Hundreds. He ride down there. He see me. 
He get the ducky down in the con and shit. Man, I said, man, bro, this nigga weird. Weird as hell, bro. So it's all type of shit when I ain't fucking with this nigga. Period. And same reason he keep trying to come up off me, bro. Like trying to give me the have sex with his sister and shit. Which is not going to happen. And if it did happen, I ain't going to never tell him. But, uh, so that's crazy. Um, well, what else? They, I already told you about the Scooby situation. That's his cousin Scooby. I already told you about that. Another reason why I'm going to get smoked. But a lot of shit I was saying, just go back to Khalil and shit. You know what I'm saying? Another reason why I ain't fucking with this nigga. Obviously, he don't like me because I was friends with this nigga named Roski and shit. You feel me? Because I heard that nigga put the gun out on me and shit. So he ain't want me being cool for Roski and him. You feel me? What else can I say? I ain't making this shit up. What else can I say? Uh, shit, that's really about it. Shit, that's really about it. He's fucking with them double O hooligans, O block, eleven nine and shit. You feel me? And other places in the hundreds. Period.